Hey guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be fun to share with you my recent antique find. I have found such beautiful treasures this week antiquing that I cannot wait to share them with you. I'm also going to list in the description below some of my favorite shops in the Western New York area. So if you live in the Western New York area or plan on visiting, you can check out some of my favorite shops that I love to go to. So first up, I'm gonna share with you some antiques that I found in Westfield, New York. It is the cutest little village, great antique shops, great little uh, cafes and little restaurants too. It's about an hour south of where I live and about 30 minutes north of Erie, Pennsylvania. My mom lives there. She's lived there for about 30 years. She's actually great at antiquing. She's got beautiful antiques as well. I'll be sharing her home with you here. Her home was built in the 1850s. It's gorgeous. Um, it's actually on the National Historic houses or registered houses too so it's a beautiful old home so she's having a um, garage sale too and i've actually picked up some um pieces from her too that she was going to sell but she always does to ask me first if i want them so i'll show you some of those too so first up i found this gorgeous huge ironstone pitcher look at this beauty you guys if you love ironstone is this not gorgeous or what Look at the detailing. I love the simplicity. When I go antiquing, I'm always looking for ironstone. I'm looking for copper with patina. I'm looking for wooden bowls. Um, I always love looking for ironstone. There's the little emblem down below. This is really big, bigger than your average pitcher. Uh, and pitchers like this, I normally see go for like $80 plus, And I got this for $48. And I thought that was a fabulous deal. Again, I love the simplicity, just like that little detailing on the handle there. Super, super pretty. Such a great find. I was so excited to find that. So this was at an antique shop in Westfield. Um, Multi-dealer um, shop, really big, just so much fun to browse in. And while I was at that shop, I also was on the hunt for a big wooden bowl. And look at this beauty. I love the coloring on it. I was looking for one that had more of a, like that wash look to it. Uh, sometimes when I find bigger bowls, they're darker and I wanted something lighter to use for my kitchen table. And I just love the detailing on it. This was only $28, which I thought was a really good deal um, considering some of the other ones that I've seen in the past. So this was a beautiful big bowl that I also found at that same antique shop. And while I was there too, I also picked up a cute butter ladle. This is so cute. Look at this cutie. I love the detailing on it. Love the little scoop. And I've seen butter ladles go for as high as like $30. Um, and I got this for $11, which I thought was a super good deal. It was actually $14, but then that booth was had a 20% off. So it was like $11 and change. Um, super, super cute. I just loved it. Even the, the girl talking me out, she's like, oh, that's just so unique and different. So it's just super cute. So I picked that up there too. Also at that same shop, I picked up this copper ladle. I love this little ladle. Funny story about this one too, and I just wanted to share this with you. So I actually had one like this. And if you want to shine up your copper, you can use like lemon and salt, that works great. But I was using some liquid barkeeper's friend on it and it shined it up and it was just too shiny for me. I love like more of a patina look on my copper. Um, if you see my top, copper tea kettle in my kitchen, I everything that I have that's copper it has a patina look on it. So I don't know what <laughs> why I decided to add the barkeepers on it. I guess I wanted to see how it looked shiny and I just I didn't like it at all. So I was so happy when I found another one. It was meant to be uh, just super cute. It was $9.97, which was actually cheaper than what the original one that I bought. Um, the, the one that I had, the other one that I used the barkeepers on, my mom's actually selling at her garage sale. So um Anyways, so it was just a funny little story about that. But the liquid barkeeper's friend, if you're looking to shine up some copper, that's the way to go. My last find at this antique shop is this gorgeous, huge, beautiful copper pan. Look at this beauty with that iron forged handle. I've seen similar ones on eBay. When I found this beauty, I 
just could not, I was so excited. It's gorgeous. I love the detailing on it. Um, it's probably from like the 1800s. This is more commonly the style is from like the 1800s. I thought it was in great condition because I had my eye on a few on eBay. Um, so when I found this one, at a shop and it's the thrill of the hunt and when you actually can find it and look at it and you know see look it over and all of that it's so much more fun than trying to look on ebay although don't get me wrong i shop on ebay all the time for different things that i'm looking for um, but when you can find it in person it's even more fun so i found this beauty which i'm going to be hanging in my kitchen i just thought it was gorgeous look at that look at this and the handle so pretty so that was my last find at that antique shop. Um, a few finds that I picked up at my mom since it's also down in Westfield that she gave me. Uh, she was asking me if I wanted these that she was gonna sell and she knows my style. I like more of like that primitive look. So first off is this beautiful uh, pewter tea kettle. Isn't it gorgeous? It's from the 1700s. We did see one similar when we were antiquing that was more like a mint condition and it was going for like $85. $85. So when she had this one, she's had it for a long time and even had it like appraised, I think too. I just, it's beautiful. And just the history behind it, knowing that how old it is and how the age and where it's been and the journey it's been on. I just love the story that it tells when you have pieces like this. Um, you know, there's such history to it. So um, I was so happy to have this and I'm so excited to be putting it here in my dining room, which you'll be seeing here, the update on the dining room shortly. I also picked up from her this little um, scoop spoon too, which I just saw, I love the detailing on it. I love like that weathered look of it. Um, it's got the little hook on the bottom too, similar to my copper one. And so she was um, gonna sell it, but wanted to know if I wanted it first. And this is totally my style. So I grabbed that from her too. Um, I also got from her another wooden bowl. <laughs> I love my wooden bowls. You can never have too many. So I got this one. This one's a lot smaller than this one. Um, and this one's a little bit darker, but I just thought it was super cute. I'll never, I'll never say no to a bowl. I just loved it too. And then I also got a scoop from her, which I thought was super cute. She's got such great antiques and some of the stuff that she was selling um, is, you know, and the prices were so great too. So I love that too. And then lastly, oh no, there's one other thing too. Um, this is like an old milk carrier. This is this is not a reproduction. This is the real vintage milk carrier. Um, the glasses aren't in here, but I could, you know, have, you can always find those or even use like mason jars. Um, I just thought that was super cute. Um, she was only going to sell it for a dollar, but I would take that. And lastly, I got from her this huge, heavy cauldron. Look at this beauty. Um, she actually had it out for $20 and I picked it up. Um, I thought it was such a great deal. Um, I automatically think fall. I don't know why, but you could use this as a flower pot too and stick some flowers in it too. Um, but I just, I love the aged look and the, all of the distressing and the use on it. So I picked that up from her too. So lots of goodies that I got down when I was in Westfield. Oh, I got this also, this, um, this little um, candlestick too. It's a brass candlestick. I love the detailing on that too. I don't know the age of it, but it was actually from her, my mom. Um, so I thought that was super cute too. So lots of goodies in Westfield that I got. I love my ironstone. And then a few other pieces that I picked up. So there's an antique shop literally right down the road from me that I love stopping in. And I found this, like I said before, I've always, looking for ironstone always have my eye out for ironstone i always love finding a deal on ironstone and i found this cute little oval plate ironstone and she had listed on it only three dollars um so i thought that was a really good deal for a little ironstone and i love using little plate stands and then just putting it on a plate stand this is going in my kitchen um in my little nook area i have it on a plate stand in my dining room, I have a lot of white plates on plate stands too. It's just a great way to decorate and you'll be seeing the dining room in an upcoming video. So I picked that up from a local 
shop right next to me for three dollars you can't beat that for a piece of iron stone i can never resist and then um i got this big beautiful wicker laundry basket it's huge <laughs> you can't even see it all um so the funny story about this is i saw this this was at the sanborn mill antique co-op which is north of where i live about 45 minutes north of where I live. It's one of my favorite antique shops that I love going to too. It's a little out of my way, but I love stopping there. Anyways, I saw it there maybe a month or so ago and it was $35. It's a little bit more than I was going to spend for it. Um, so I didn't get it at the time. And then I was back up that way and I stopped in and I said, if that basket is still there, because I couldn't stop thinking about it. I said, if that basket is still there, it was meant to be. <laughs> So of course it was still there. Um, and if you look at large wicker laundry baskets like this um, online, they can be really expensive. If you look eBay, Etsy, just even Google oval wicker laundry basket, this was listed for 35. I got it for 30. I didn't think that was a big, you know, that was a, I thought I felt like I was getting a deal. Plus I kept thinking about it and I'm actually using it um, right here in the um, dining room. So this was another find. I just, I love that too. And then lastly, this was, was a thrift store find. It was another little copper tea kettle. This is probably is not vintage at all, but I can never resist some copper, um, especially when it's got the patina look to it. Uh, and this was only $4.99. I got this at Savers, uh, which is like a Goodwill here. Um, the funny thing is, is it was recently $3.99 um, at Goodwill. So I, had, I spent more on it. So too bad I didn't see it at Goodwill, right? Um, but I just thought it was super cute. And I'm going to put this um, in my little coffee area. I love tea kettles. I have my big one, like I mentioned before, um, that's very patina. And I won't use bar keepers or anything on it. I love just that look. You know, I love the look of the clean... Um, shiny copper and some people can just it, it's so pretty in their homes but for some reason i just like more of the patina look in my home and this baby was just super super cute so these were my antique finds this week i thought it was a pretty good haul some great finds a great variety and it was just so much fun again it's the thrill of the hunt i love going and wandering because you just never know what you're going to find Again, I always have like a little list of things that I know that I'm always kind of keeping my eye out on, but sometimes it's also fun just seeing something that you're not expecting to see and finding a new piece and a new little treasure that you can bring into your home and just the story behind it. It's just so fun. So if you love antiquing too, let me know in the description below what you love antiquing for, some of your favorite finds that you found recently. Um, it's just, it's so much fun. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope you enjoyed these pieces. Let me know also too what your favorite piece from this haul is. And if you are new to my channel and you love videos like this, along with home decor, cooking, and DIY, make sure you click the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. And if you're on Instagram too, make sure you're following me over there. I'm sharing over there and sharing in stories and behind the scenes too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.